Um, the reason I'm not at my regular high school is because I'm not gonna lie, you know, I, I, I wasn't the best kid. It's, it's not that I didn't do like anything bad. It's just you know I was just lazy. I didn't do my work. I, w I just didn't have any motivation. And one of my one of my counselors from Cajon, they were like, oh, just go to Powell. You know, there's a bunch of people there. I was like, all right, you know. When I first came here, I thought it was gonna be like you know like one of those schools, but in reality, you know, this is a school that like that like checked up on me. All the teachers were just like, oh, you gotta do this, do this, make sure you're doing good. It helped me with my grades. I haven't I haven't failed a single class in, I mean, since I've been here. I think the lowest grade I got was like a C. And that was because I like, it was PE, so I was like, whatever. But this school, honestly, is like, it's like one of the top charter schools. So, yeah. Well, um, I got pregnant when I was 16. After that, everybody in my family kind of was just like, gave up on me. They Nobody thought that I was gonna go back to school and actually finish it, but here I am, one year late, but I did it. I'm doing it, I got it done. And to me, just proving everybody wrong is what means the most to me. Everybody said I couldn't do it, and here I am, doing it. Um, when I first came here, it was hard to open up to new people because nowadays you can't find true friends but at Pell Charter Academy there's amazing people here and they let you open up to them like they don't judge you just because you're from somewhere else they open up and they admire you here because they want to see you happy and see you grow in life so me I talked to people but I was just like uh, okay like I just thought there was somebody but after a while I've been here for almost two years and I did grow. I see myself grow more and more every day when I come here because some people they go through life and it's just oh they don't think people love them. I used to feel that way but now I see like growing up and getting older to an adult almost you have to inspire more people in your life because in the long run who's going to be there? So now at Pell Charter Academy these teachers have made me feel like they're going to be here for a while. Um, at the beginning I guess everyone does struggle and then now I'm doing better like I'm doing I'm really just doing me like um, I'm applying for I already applied for college next Monday I'm going to talk to the counselor for my classes and then I'm also going to sign up for FAFSA for student loan. And then I did that all on my own too, because I know like teachers were talking about it and stuff, but then like I would never show up and stuff. So like one day on a Friday I woke up and then went straight to bed the college by myself and did everything. I was like, I gotta do something with my life. So, and, and I don't want to take a year off because I know I'm gonna be so lazy. I'm gonna be so lazy. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you. I think Thank you. I'm, a, I'm actually proud about myself too. Like. I think I'm so hard and independent woman. Yes, you are. I am. I know I am. And you come a long way because I remember three years ago you wasn't talking like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, personally, it means a lot to me because although like I'm although I'm two years late, I'm still gonna be the first, you know, in my family to graduate. You know, I'm walking with my little brother, but you know, like we're still gonna be the first to graduate and so, stuff, and that's pretty impressive to me because. Which is it. And not like to mention like I don't know. Like my dad was there but he wasn't really there and stuff, so like me being able to walk like to walk with my little brother and stuff, that's that's pretty dope. Like, you kinda like his dad. Yeah. Well I'm I'm basically like the father figure in in his life at least. Like it's always me and him. Like, even here, like it's always me and him walking and stuff. Like yeah. I feel like I've been forced to mature at a really young age due to the fact that I didn't have my mother with me to check up on me all, all the time if, if to tell me you're doing right, you're doing wrong I feel like I've had to do that myself I've had to lead my own self through good paths and you know avoid um, hanging out with the wrong people because the fact that I've been alone so much since I was small it's helped me be mature. It's forced me basically to be mature, but I'm really glad it's happened because I am where I am now. I am who I am now. But the real person that I want to be there is not going to be there. But I know she's proud of me from where she's at. I know she's really proud of me. And, well, 
We'll have some more moments together. If it's not this, she'll see me graduate college. If no one's ever met my mom, okay. <laughs> okay, let's, okay. Well, her, her voice. Just her energy. Talk about it. Well, okay. <laughs> my mom, she's just a wonderful person. They're just completely. Okay. Like, if you were to have the honor to meet her, mm -hmm. you don't want to let go. It's hard. Because I know I'm old. I don't want to let her go. I mean, I'm still her baby. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm still her baby. But she's just a wonderful person. Like, if you have the honor to meet her, you won't want to let her go. Like, she can talk to anyone. No hesitation. Like, she's just... She just has a wonderful personality. She's like... Okay, she's my mom. But she's like my best friend, too. And I know people say that all the time. But... She's truly a great person. I don't know how kids, like, nowadays just, like, treat their mom like crap. Like, that's bull. Like, I see that, I'm just like, how can you treat your mom like that? Because it's always been like, my mom and my sisters. That's it. It's always just been us. And I like it that way. I just can't, I can't be without my mom. Just, and she's so tough. Like, she sets a good example. She sets a great example. She's just beautiful. 